Hi folks, just a quick video today talking about how to set up Amazon's Lunar game streaming service with the Xbox. Yep, you heard me right, you can use Lunar on the Xbox in much the same way that you used to be able to use Stadia on the Xbox when that was still up and running and in much the same way that you can still use GeForce Now. Uh, in order to do this, obviously, you're going to need a couple of things. You're going to need a Xbox, and that's going to be an Xbox One or an Xbox Series console. And you're also going to need an Amazon Prime membership. Now, the reason you're going to need that is because that will give you access to a few games. I think five last time I checked. Uh, if you want to have access to more games, then you're going to need to pay for the higher tier of membership. And that, I think, is an extra $7.99 a month, and that gives you access to a whole load of extra games. Uh, but maybe I'll make another video talking about the games and whether the service is any good or not. For today, I just want to talk about how to set it up. And having said that, what you're going to need to do that is have Microsoft Edge up and running. And uh, I've got it up and running on my screen here, as you can see. If you haven't got it already, you can go into Games and Apps and load it from there. But uh, I've got it up. Once you uh, have got it uh, available, just click on it with the A button on the Xbox as you would normally do. And then it will bring you, eventually it will bring you up with a screen, probably a different one to this one. Uh, and then what you'll need to do is go to the top with your cursor and press on the little plus to load a new tab. As it says here, except privacy options and all the rest of it. You may have that, you may not. And then what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to type in the address for Luna, and that will be in the address bar here. And what you're going to need to type in is Luna.Amazon, and in the UK it's going to be Luna.Amazon.co.uk. In the US it will be Luna.Amazon.com, and then obviously different addresses depending on where you are in the world. But uh, I've actually got it already set up, so I've got it under a bookmark. I'm just going to click on that bookmark and it should load it up. OK, and it may well, the first time, it will come up with probably a, a, a screen up here that will ask you to accept cookies. Uh, and then obviously you're going to need to do that because if you don't, it's going to not going to let you through. And then... It should come up as well and ask you to log on. If it doesn't, you can go into settings on the left hand side here. And then you have to put in your details. As you can see, mine are already filled in. So uh, I can just click sign in. It also gives you the option to keep me signed in. Now, if you're using this a lot, it might be handy to keep yourself signed in. I'm not going to do that for now, though. I'm just going to click sign in and move on. And it's going to ask you ask me for my two-factor authentication. It'll only ask you for that again if you've got two-factor authentication set up. So as you can see, it says OTP. So I've got to enter the number for that. If you look again, you've got that option. As you hear, my phone's beeped with the message for it. Uh, as you can see here, it says don't require OTP on this browser. You can set that as well if you want to speed up your sign-in. So let me see. Let's just type this in. What I'll do is type this in and then we should be able to continue. So let me do. Uh, right. And as I say, I'm not going to select don't require OTP on this browser. I'm just going to click sign in. Right, and now I'm in, and this should be the thing that you are first greeted with. I've been using a controller because I'm on my Xbox, but it says no controllers added yet, so I'm going to need to add a controller for Luna. And that is really straightforward to do, but before you do that, what I suggest you do is you go full screen. And the way you go full screen is you would press the view button on the Xbox controller. Now, that is the one on the left-hand side just before the Xbox button, the one that looks like two little envelopes, one on top of the other. So press that, and that will take you to full screen. If you press it again, it takes you out of full screen. So there you go. You can toggle between those. But I found if I do that first, before I sort out the controller, things tend to work better. If you try and do it afterwards, you might find that you can add the controller or, or whatever. Uh, anyway, I ran into a few problems. So do that first, make it full screen. And then you want to press the menu button on the Xbox controller. That's the one on the right with the three little lines. And that's just below the uh, Xbox uh, button with the big X in the middle. 
So press that on your Xbox controller. And as you can see, it brings up a context menu. It's in effect like hitting the right hand mouse button on a, on a mouse <laughs> on your PC. So uh, then you would select that and use game controls. And as you can see here, now my cursor has disappeared and it's now it says Xbox wireless controller. Your controller is now ready for gameplay. So that's that. But it also, if you can see on the left hand side here, it's moving the cursor up and down. Now I have found, if you can see, can you see it's jumping? It's not doing the next one up, it's doing the one before. So you have to be, I find if you use the thumb pad, the joy pad, it will jump. Oh, didn't do it that time. Sometimes it will jump, so there you go, it jumped that time. So you have to be really touchy. I find if you use the thumbstick, it's a little bit more accurate. So you can use the thumbstick to do that. So there you go, go up and down. And what you want to do, you can go home and then it'll show you a list of the various games that are available. If you go across, you should be able to scroll that up and down. If you can see here, it says continue playing. I've got Hot Wheels Unleashed and Batman. Now, Batman used to be part of the service. There's things that roll in and out of the service. Batman was on there for a little while. Hot Wheels is the big game that's on there at the moment. And if you look just below where it says continue playing, it says see it's jumping again it says prime memberships play now and we've got hot wheels unleashed uh what's it doing hot, hot wheels unleashed metal slug and it's gone back okay just bear with me a second okay i'm back where were we <laughs> what happened there was i hit the b button and, and you don't want to be hitting the b button because if you hit the, hit the b button it takes you back to the previous page and then it was asking me for my uh authentication again so that was a pain in the neck so don't hit the b button when you're in the menus um anyway it's a bit of a pain in the neck but as i say you've got your prime memberships playing now and you've got hot wheels unleashed metal slug Fortnite, male mole and end zone now the only ones i really know about these are the first three Fortnite, metal slug and hot wheels unleashed now i've been playing a bit of hot wheels unleashed and um it works pretty well but as you can see we are in Amazon Luna, and just to show you that everything's still working hunky-dory, presuming my network is working okay, because uh, my provider's been messing me about, I'm going to go into Hot Wheels Unleashed. And as you can see, it's given me the option to play now. So I'm going to do play now. And uh, I was finding that this actually worked really well. It says, open the in-game Luna overlay to access additional features. Uh, I don't think that's going to work. Uh, I've not tried using that, but I don't really want the additional features at this stage. And uh, it should load up and work pretty well. As you can see, it's loading up. I'll have to work out how to access the additional features using an Xbox controller. And uh, I will put a comment beneath this video, either in the description and or in the comment section, to say if you can access the additional features using an Xbox controller. Because at the moment, if you press the center button on the Xbox controller, it just brings the, up, up the Xbox uh, <laughs> screen or sidebar, I should say. It says warning. This is, this is actually loading a bit slower than it did for me the other day. And the reason for that is my, as I say, my internet provider is being a bit of a pain in the ass at the moment. And uh, I'm having a lot of problems getting online. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. When it does, it's slow. So I've got a lot slower internet than I would normally have. But anyway, it says press button. And uh, Hot Wheels Rumble City. Let's just try this. Uh, what are we doing? There you go. This is where we were. Let's, uh, where are we going? What's that one? Faster than lightning, speed vault, I don't know. But as you can see, it's loaded up. It seems to be working okay. Let's just quickly do a game. I'm not going to faff about too much messing around with this, but just to show you that it's working. Come on, load up. There you go. I'm going to make a liar of myself saying this was a, a good service in, in terms of the actual streaming because, uh, like I say, with my internet provider, it could be rubbish. Let's see. I'm not going to race a full race. I'm just going to, you know, race for a little bit just to show you that it's working. Here we go. 
Oh, there was a bit of... Oh, see that? I will tell you now, though, this isn't Luna. But this is this is my internet provider being a pain in the butt. Yeah, can you see this is all over... Oh, God, it's all over the place. This was working brilliantly the other day. And I was racing as if, almost as if I was racing locally. And I was blitzing the races and winning them with ease. Because I was on the lowest setting. So uh, that probably... There you go. It's working a little bit better now. Oh, I'm going to hit that. Let's hit the... There you go. That's brought me in a bit. Yeah, I'm getting a bit of lag at the moment. But... As you can see, it's working. Now, unfortunately, this is not giving you the best uh, image of uh, Luna because I've actually found Luna to be up there with my best experiences. Certainly it was the other day, but I'm going to stop that. I'm going to stop that playing and quit and uh, just continue to talk about that for a moment because this is the problem. Uh, I've got a terrible internet connection at the moment because there's an outage on my line and you you saw what was happening there. I was getting lag and it was stuttering and all the rest of it. When I played the other day when the internet was up and running perfectly, no problems at all. It was wonderful. So, Luna, my own personal experiences of Luna are that it works really well when your internet provider is, is working well. Excuse me, is working well. If your internet provider isn't working well, and this is true for GeForce Now, it used to be true for Stadia, it's true for Xbox game streaming and all the other streaming services that are out there. PlayStation have got their own streaming service as well, had the same thing with them. They vary in quality between them, but the one thing, the overarching element that affects whether they work well or not is your internet connection. And so, you know, you have to suffer at the vagaries of your internet provider. But anyway, look, that, that's all I wanted to say about that. The bottom line is that this is almost trivial to set up. It's really easy to set up. And once you get it up and running, it's really easy to carry on playing it. On my Xbox in the lounge, I can just bring up Luna and just play it to my heart's content. There's no messing around with logging in and all the rest of it because I've got it set up to automatically log me in. So anyway, look, I've been uh, talking for t far too long now, uh, spent a little bit too long in the gameplay section, but um, hopefully this is some use to you guys. Let me know in the comments if it was, and let me know in the comments if it wasn't, and give us this, this one a thumbs up and share it if you think there's anyone who might find this useful. But uh, in the meantime, I'm going to bugger off and get myself a, a cup of tea, and uh, yeah, I'll speak to you soon. Cheers.